just put down this clanking glass here. Uh, hello! <laughs> I'm about to get my day started and I, guys, this month has not been great for reading. I have, I, let's just say that focus has not been something I can do. Um, I have actually attempted to read and been in the mood to read a few times. Uh, ended up being an effing most stuff and we're like more than halfway through the month. I've only actually finished one book. So I'm not going to do an end of the month wrap up. I'll probably do just like a combo September October wrap up situation. Uh, but I'm like, okay, we need to refocus what's going on. What does this new normal look like for me in terms of reading and how I pick what I read. And what I've re realized is that um, the thing that I've always said, which is I do really well with mood reading within structured reading. And last month I had a bunch of advanced reader copies I was trying to read. And so that was kind of giving me a little bit of structure. Uh, and this month I don't have that. So I've kind of just been at loose ends of what to do. So this is going to be my rest of the year TBR, really with the goal of kind of just like ref refocusing, letting myself giving myself some ideas. Like honestly, this is a collaborative video in the sense of you guys are listening to me figure out what I need to read. So that when I'm in the mood to read, I have things that I can go to and pick up. So uh, let's talk about the things I am telling myself I can read. And therefore, the next time I'm in the mood to read, I don't need to be at loose ends. So I've got kind of three buckets. Bucket number one are my pre-orders. I would love to ex exit this year having read all of my pre-orders. So as of right now, there's six left and they all sound great, which is why I pre-ordered them. So and several of these also play into a different category we'll talk about. Uh, so we've got the finale, I think. I, I think this is the finale. So at least the next installment. Yeah, okay, maybe there's more. I don't know. The next installment of the Amari and the Night Brothers <laughs> series uh, is a pre-order. This is a middle grade fantasy. Um, we have a sequel, uh, Speculative Romance, and this is The Undermining of Twyla and Frank by Megan Bannon. I really enjoyed the first book. This duo, well, I don't know if there's gonna be more, but the first book was The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. I thought that was great. And so I'm excited to get to this speculative romance. The Mystery Writer, Writer by Sulari Gentle. I just like, she's kind of a, a, a off the beaten path or like quirky is not the right word. Just, she has a distinctive approach to mysteries. And so I'm excited to see what this is like. We've got another speculative romance, Bound to the Shadow Prince by Ruby Dixon, which I believe is sort of like a fantasy, like a romanticy, a fantasy romance kind of sitch, which love Ruby Dixon, so why not? Um, An Education of Mouse by S.T. Gibson is a sequel to, oh God, what was the first one? Can you tell that it's early in the day slash I've been so anxious this month that my memory is gone? A Dowry of Blood, here we go. Sequel to A Dowry of Blood, um, which I actually have seen getting kind of mixed reviews, so we'll see how I do with it. But I really liked the writing itself in A Dowry of Blood, so I'm hopeful. This is gothic horror, Dracula retelling, you know, ooky spooky vibes. And then this is really the only reason I haven't read this yet is because I have the audio and my anxiety has been so high that I just can't focus on an audiobook right now. But as soon as I can, We Solve Murders by Richard Osman is very, very high up on something I want to read. Maybe if I can get, oh, I would love to read this before the end of September. We'll see. Um, we'll see what my brain is letting me do. But those are my pre-orders. I should also mention, uh, yeah, let's go into another category. So the um, other category is projects and book club things. So project wise, there's a f several new releases I picked up um, that are not that were not pre orders, but are things that I would like to get to since I picked them up when they were coming out. So for example, the spell shop, um, I got how how to become the Dark Lord and die trying by Django Wexler. There's a few things that I picked up based on buzz. And uh, I would like since I did that to try to get to those this year. So I think that should be a priority. Book clubs. 
So for a book two book club, The Luminous Dead is our October pick. That will be on Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany. That will be on her channel. So this is one that I need to read for book club. I also know that I'm going to have at least one if not two more picks for my workbook club. Um, I think our next one is the Full Moon Cafe and it's about a cat cafe in Japan. So that sounds lovely. Um, and the cats like talk. I think it's like a cat a cat run cafe because the cats are sentient. That sounds like a delight. So if I have any other book club picks that I need to read, I will prioritize those. And then, oh, usually in October, I like to try to, you know, you know, get into the, the vibes, the creepy vibes, the lightly spooky, lightly scary vibes. So for instance, The Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon, which I've heard great things about this series, uh, let's read that because that has a witch in it. And let's read some horror things that are on my TBR. Let's read some things that are specific to the Halloween season. Yeah, let's get into it for October. So that is going to be what I prioritize reading in October. Though I will mention, I believe I'm going to endeavor to join the Chaos of Demon writing challenge in October that Jess and Nerdy Nurse Reads, Jess Owens and Nerdy Nurse Reads are running because I desperately need to refocus on my web. Um, so I actually don't know how much reading I'm going to get done in October, but of the reading I do, I think I should be prioritizing ones that are seasonally appropriate. And then um, two other projects. One is I have not been reading much in Project in, in my Reading Roberts project. Uh, so I would love to get some more Nora Roberts reading in so that I can keep ticking away on that. Uh, and then one vlog that I would really love to do before the end of the year is I would like to finish my ABC reading challenge that I started because I actually think that that's perfect for where I'm at right now. It's a mood reading challenge that has a prompt to help me pick what I'm in the mood to read. Right now I'm on the letter J and I would love to get through the rest of that. I don't know how realistic that is, but I think that would be at least a good goal. Um, maybe I should set, because I think I was going to divide that into three videos, maybe I should set my goal to be I would like to get through the second video of that, because yeah, that would be, I, I enjoyed that, and I think it is just the perfect blend of structure and mood reading. The last category of things I would like to prioritize reading that I'm putting on my TBR is making progress on my series. So I decided I'm not going to do a full video for my series check-in for August because I just didn't make enough progress, I feel like. Though so I'll put in some stats here of notable things. Um, things that come to mind, I know I only had like a 44% adherence rate to the TBR that I'd set myself, which is definitely the lowest and makes sense just in terms of the kind of like slumpage slash new normal that I found myself in. Um, I did set a new TBR. Most of it was like half of what I had had on my TBR just rolled over and then I picked some new ones. Um, I will say one thing I made really good progress on is uh, reducing the number of books or the number of series I have left to read that I haven't started yet. So because I've been doing a lot of sort of like try a chapter type challenges, that has included a lot of beginnings of series. So I actually have have cleared off a number of those from my TBR. And I have addressed all of the series that I said that I really wanted to start or DNF in 2024. I did a video about that. Um, previously, I'll try to remember to link that. But yeah, so I feel like in terms of making progress on reading TBR series stuff, maybe not my best, but in terms of overall driving towards my keeping it fresh goal for the TBR, I do think that, you know, we've made progress. So this time, especially because I'm, you know, not reading as much and struggling to focus on reading as much, um, I think that leaning into series that I already know that I like and just making progress in them sounds like a great idea because I already know that I like them. So like, why not just keep going? So I have a couple of um, Japanese series or actually I just realized this one I don't think is technically a series. It's, this is by the author of the Decagon House Murders, but I actually 
don't think that this is in a series. So JK, maybe I can't actually now that I'm looking at the back of this, I can't tell. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if it is in fact a sequel or not. But either which way, um, this one and then, oh gosh, that series, gosh, you guys, my memory is so bad right now. <sighs> that other series that I'm going to put up right here, I've got a couple of them going and I'd like to read them and it's going to be great. <laughs> I think that I'll enjoy them. They're very, very me kind of books. They're just true blue mysteries. Okay, moving on. This Sinclair uh, Mystery Quartet. I've read two. I've got two left. That would be good to read. Um, I like to continue on in the Courtney Milan series. Uh, this is The Marquis Who Mustn't. This is a new one that I started earlier this year and I want to keep going. Uh, why have I not just made the time to do Paladin books? I don't know. But I know I would love these. I really enjoyed Sword Heart and the... Um, the Clockwork Boys series. Those were both great. And I know I'm gonna love these. So why haven't I just made time to read them? Who knows? Uh, and I'm so behind. Well, not behind. I'm only behind one book, but I cannot believe I've been this is the latest I've ever been on an advanced reader copy in recent memory. And it's just because I oh, I did make an executive decision. I'm not gonna record a full podcast about this or the previous book for now. I'm just gonna give I'm gonna do an episode where I give you my overall thoughts on both. And then when I have the spoons, I will go back and do a detailed reread and a detailed uh, episode. But for the podcast, that's been sort of like hanging over me and kind of crippling me. So I just made that decision so I would feel less pressure and just be able to actually get through these. Um, what other series do I have? Like there's the Ursa Dax series. That's a speculative romance series I'd like to make some progress on. Uh, there's some honey, new Honey Phillips books that have come out and the How the Aliens Were One, which is a spinoff of Seven Alien Brides, Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series. Yeah, so just I have a bunch of series going and I think those should be good, solid, just like if you don't know what to read, just keep going in a series you already know you like. That should be kind of a no brainer, but for some reason my current very foggy brain needed that needed to say that out loud to you and to myself. So that is the direction I'm giving myself. Oh, I have um, I, a couple of Ruby Dixon series installments I've not read like, yeah, there's there's definitely series things for me to read. Um, I just need to remember that they're there and then read them. So with all that being said, if I got through even half of that this year, I'm gonna say that that would feel great. Um, we'll see what happens. I do want to prior, like I said, I'm planning on prioritizing writing in October over reading. So I think probably the game plan now that I'm just like talking this out loud, I've only got, you know, 10 ish days left in September. I'm thinking what I should do is for the rest of this month, prioritize non Halloween -y type books that I'd like to read before the end of October. So I'll, I'll figure out a couple of those. And then uh, in October, really the only priority I'll have is reading seasonally appropriate books. But really mostly I think I'm going to focus on that writing challenge. So I think that's kind of my game plan for the short term. And then the long term, once I get through October and I have more reading time because writing will be less of an intensive focus, then hopefully I'll make some progress on the rest of the books that we talked about in this video. So thank you for helping me verbally process what it is I need to read. Because I think, yeah, if you cannot tell, I am very out of sorts right now and very rambly and very just like my brain is not doing great. Um, but the reasons for my brain not doing great should be coming to an end by October. And if that's the case, and it should be, hopefully that thing causing me stress and anxiety, which then triggers my autoimmune disease, which then creates fatigue and creates brain fog. That cycle, I believe the main source of it should be being rectified in the next couple of weeks. And so I'm hoping that once that happens, we'll just get back to my new normal and things will be easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Uh, but until that happens, this was very helpful for me. I hope it was helpful for you. I am rambling now and repeating myself. I'm sorry. That's just where we're at. I hope you are doing well. Let me know if you've got things that you are like, I got to get this read by the end of the year. Let me know um, if you've read any of the books I talked about. 
and you're either excited or dreading me reading them. Um, yeah, let me know all of that below. I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are. Hit the bell if you want to know when I post and I will just see you guys soon. Bye! Thank you.